Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to deal with this little error right there. CRF token mismatch in Postman. There's two ways we can do this. Let's start off with the first one. All right, so you can obviously choose which one you prefer. Let's start off, let's go to app, HTTP, middleware, verify CRF token. So this is the middleware that gets run to check if the CRF token fields match. The tokens match actually. Right, so if you want to exclude a URL from the CRF verification, you can do it in the protected accept right here. But remember, I'm just going to do this just for testing the API in Postman. I'm not going to use this for production. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to do lock in. So this is the first option just to add the route in here. So let's quickly go to Postman. So if I press send right now, as you can see, it returns basically the request. So let's quickly go to the store method right here. As you can see, I'm just returning the request from the login request. As you can see, I'm just returning that request, which is the login email and the password. I don't want to create a new response and create a new token. So I just want to do this right here right so the next thing that i want to do so this is the first option all right but this i will only do in the development not in production all right so let's go on the next option is to run everything on artisan serve so all right so php artisan serves to run a local host server okay like this as you can see it will run on port 8000 all right on this is where laravel will store the cookie of the token all right so let's quickly go to postman all right so what i want to do is i want to hit that port of localhost 8000 and basically generate the sanctum crf cookie so let's just do a postman request uh, so let me just before i do that you go to your collection and then you will have your authorization. We have the batter token, and you'll see prerequisite scripts, test, and variables. Okay. So what we want to do is we run a script, then set that token as a variable and add that variable to our login right here. Okay. So let's do that. So let's go to the prerequisite scripts. We're going to do uh, PM. So that's for Postman in short. We're going to send a request. Okay. All right. So let's quickly do that. Yeah. All right. So the URL that we want to go to, and uh, that is going to be, we're going to go to local host 8000. All right. And it's going to go to forward slash sanctum. And then we just want to hit the CSRF cookie. Okay. And the method that we, that supported for that, that's going to be a get method. Okay, and then on this, we want to return a function. And then we're just going to get them. If there's any errors for the response. Or, or access any of the cookies. Okay, let me just do it like this. So what I want to do is I just want to console.log the cookie. Let's just do the cookies like this. All right, let's see if we can actually, if we hit this route, if we can actually get the cookies right there. Okay, so let's quickly open our console. So we press the console, let me clear this. So if we go to the author right there, so let's press send. As you can see, it hit the death route on localhost 8000. And if we go down, you can see we console lock the cookies. So you can see we have the CRF token there. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, we have the CRF token. And then we have the Laravel session. We don't want to deal with this one. We only want the token. Okay. So that's what we got right there. But let me just show you another thing. If you wanted to hit this route, let's go HTTP. And let's say we go to that mozzie.test. All right. Let's then add the sanctum. Now, if we do the exact same thing, I don't know why yet. I haven't got time to get to that yet. So if we press on, let's go to the login again. If we go to the, yeah, I forgot to add, that needs to be double. 
All right, so let me just go and go there again. So if I press this, as you can see, it returns an empty array. I've not figured that out yet, but I found the solution is to run it on localhost 8000. The cookies get saved. Everything works quite nice. All right, so that's why I'm running it on localhost 8000. Okay, so let's quickly go back to this part right here and change it to localhost 8000. Local host 8000 if we run it on that port right now if we're going to hit the cookies then we can see it again All right so i haven't figured it out yet so let me just go to the auth All right as you can see we get the cookies all right right there now the other thing is if we i don't want to take too much of your guys time but let me just show you another thing if we go in here so you can obviously explore this a little bit more so if we go to more all right, and if we go to the response dot headers, all right, and then we can just say, let's just do the response headers and they just go to the auth again. So if we go to response, let me clear this. All right, if we go in there, you will see if we if we hit the route right there, you'll see in the response header, you will see set cookie as that token right there, but we cannot get that. But remember, this is just a, a virtual host for the local host any case all right so it saves it in the local host but in dealing with this i'm just want to just i don't want to make something too long so i'm just going to leave this as local host 8000 and what i want to do is i want to set a variable i want to set basically the cookie of let's say uh, collection variable collection variable so pm postman collection variable all right and then we just want to set right so now the first part right here this is the name of the variable that we're going to set now as you can see under variables there's nothing right there okay so what i want to set first i want to call it x uh, c s r f or just let's say just c s r f token okay so that is the name of the variable that we will save it in here as okay and then we just want to access that cookie as cookies. And then we're just going to get in a cookie that XS RF token. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're going to set the variable that's a CRF token. And in the cookies right there, remember the two on localhost, we're just going to get the one that's named with this name right there. Okay, so we save that as a variable. So let's see if we hit this right again. So if we press send, right? So if we go to the collection, you'll see we got a variable CRF token that we saved in that value right there. So that's basically what we're looking for. Now, if we go in here, okay, so let's just move this up a bit. So if we go to the body, and I just want to make sure I remove this, okay? So as you can see, we got the CRF token mismatch. All right now, what we want to do is X, the value that we need to put in there is X, S, R, F, and token. Okay, so that's the header under headers. That's the header we need to put in. Now we can access that variable that we just created as a C, S, R, F token. All right, so. As you can see, if I hover over it, you'll see the value right there. So if I press send right now, this needs to disappear because we include it in our header right there. So let's quickly press send. I forgot one thing. This mozzie.test needs to change to the local host 8000 because we're not running the token on that round. We're running it on this round right here. So let me press send again. As you can see, we get the return right there okay so the only change you need to make make sure you run it on localhost 8000 hit the login and if we want to access all the articles just make sure you instead of the mozzie or test or whatever uh, you just go to the port 8000 right there so if i press send as you can see i still access that same articles because it's running on localhost 8000 right there awesome stuff so that's basically how you can fix it and as you can see in the cookies, we can see the XCRF token. So if we go to the cookies right there, as you can see, it stores them under the local host and not the spoof um, 
mozi.test virtual host that I did with Apache. Okay. So that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. I'll gladly help you out and give it a like. See you in the next one. Adios.